The last day of winter proved to be deadly on the Mid-Island. One woman was killed and a man was seriously injured after a crash on the Nanaimo Parkway. It happened early this morning. Police are still trying to determine why the vehicle left the highway and crashed onto a parallel road. A stalled air ambulance and cries for help in the dark further complicated the situation. A News Mid-Island Bureau Chief Jonathan Bartlett has the story. It's still dark out this morning as a coroner arrives at the scene. A car has come to rest upside down on a mostly unused road that parallels the Nanaimo Parkway. Presently we're investigating a uh, single vehicle um, accident uh, off-road right. There is confirmed one uh, deceased individual. Uh, another individual has been taken to hospital. Underneath the wreckage of the car lies the body of a 35-year-old woman who died instantly in the crash. Police examined the large debris field to try to determine why the Mitsubishi Lancer left the southbound lanes of the highway. It's just in the preliminary stages, and so we're trying to piece together as many parts as we can right now to uh, um, continue on with the investigation. It's going to be uh, a while before we uh, probably have a complete picture as to what truly happened. By daylight, it becomes a little clearer. The car left the highway at a high rate of speed, flipped a number of times, and landed down the bank on McEwen Road. Because of the location, it may have been difficult to see the wreckage from the road. In fact, it's unclear at this point just how long the car lay here on its roof with two people trapped inside. An RCMP member had just finished a routine traffic stop when he heard cries for help. At this point, we're trying to establish the, the timeline. That member, actually, who was on scene, had patrolled that exact area at about 12.30 a.m., and there was no vehicle in the ditch at that point. To complicate things even further, an air ambulance was dispatched to the scene, but couldn't take off. Uh, air ambulance was called, arrived on scene, but uh, for unknown reasons, experienced mechanical problems and had to uh, uh, leave the area without the injured male and then an ambulance was called, took him to a local hospital. The driver, a 30-year-old believed to be from Ladysmith, is now at Victoria General Hospital with non-life-threatening back injuries. The identification of the dead woman, also believed to be from Ladysmith, will not be released until her family has been notified. In Nanaimo, Jonathan Bartlett, A News.